Hi guys, Paul from paulrubby.com wanted to go through Euro GBP signal for our expat algo. Today we had a five and six star by its Monday um, European um, session. Um, I would live in Europe, so it's easier for me. Uh, one of the things we uh, first do on Euro Japanese Yen is I've got my major support and resistance zones in yellow already, already on my chart. We can see on Friday we've got a couple of little pivots there. I've only put them in purple because they are weak. They're only a one one hit wonder for now. Okay, so uh, again, I didn't take these signals because I was in bed snoring my head off. Nothing, nothing going on there. But get up around 6:30 in the morning, and around 7:30 we have the five and six star buy. So entry strategy reasonably simple here we look for the recent pivot before the five and six star buy here so we put the stop just under there around right about 908 or 18 uh, and then we want an entry above these pivots here so well, we got the six star buy on this candle so let's just go a little bigger here on this candle we want to make sure we're above these pivots from overnight as well so 90886 entry I use my uh, fib extension tool to look for risk to reward so it's a one-to-one -to, -one to this pivot from Friday I'm happy with that because they're usually pretty weak it's a one it wonder uh, it's one to three or something like that to the next pivot from the highs on Friday so really really excellent risk to reward to the next major pivot it's here so now becomes the issue how do you um, manage this now we are working on the next development uh, for the algo to give you um, a cloud that will give you a, a sensible um, trading stop position but right now for me if I was putting a trading stop in here um, you remember this is a, a, a decision point so it's most likely to pull back and maybe test this previous little pivot here so lock in profit by just putting your trading stop below that support and resistance zone there it's only a weak one change that to orange for for trading stop the thing to do is to give it a little room there may be a little pullback you know is there data that's going to affect this a lot of a lot of stuff that's going to uh, impact uh, this this at uh, this price point so just give it time wait for it to pull back then have another go through there if it does push through this 91072 level then you can start being more aggressive and bring your trailing stop up to here but this cloud that we're developing for version 2 will give you um, what we call a you know a conservative uh, trading stop position uh, and I will talk about that once we once we get that right but right now if you were in this euro Japanese yen uh, sorry euro GBP even uh, long uh, we got the great signals this morning. We've got lots of risk to reward, uh, and it's just plowed up through there. You go. We get the European gold pit open at this point here, uh, and it just it just zooms up there, and we are coming up to the European stock market open at nine o'clock. So, another another factor on this one is, do I want to take these big profits before that? Um, European stock market open or do I let it ride with the trading stop so those things decisions got to go through your mind as well got to keep an eye on the time but right now this is a great example uh, trading Forex um, with the expert algo very very simple since simple entry strategy simple stop loss good risk reward and now we're managing this trade with a very very conservative uh, trailing stop um, below this uh, little pivot um, support and resistance zone from Friday there. Hopefully that helps and there'll be more and more videos coming along.